Hey all, it's Anna with Adventures in Cardboard, and today I'm going to show you how to take two templates from our website and turn them into what we call bosses, which will end up looking something like this on top of your shield or your armor, and spikes, which will look something like this on top of your shield or your armor. So these are two little templates that are available on our website. Print them out, cut them out, trace them. When you've traced them, you will end up with two pieces of cardboard that look like this. I've gone ahead and already marked where I'm going to be needing to do my cuts so that this flat piece of cardboard pops out and becomes this 3D spike. So we'll start with the spike and I'm just going to show you where those cuts are, how to do them, and then how to tape it. So the spike itself will have four cuts on the front side and again these instructions are on the website, so look at one of these images to help you see those spikes. So the first four cuts are going to be these four lines here. And then on the back, once I've marked these with Sharpie, on the back, there will be a few more lines just like these. Mark them. Go ahead, score them, do a half cut. Bend them. Score back over anything you need to do. Sometimes with the thickness of your cardboard, the corrugation, you might need to cut a little bit deeper. So I'm all set. The next thing to do is tape it. Which I have a little tape flower right here to help me with. How convenient. What you're going to do is take this piece here, this is a tab, and you're going to tuck it in underneath your face right here. So each of these four is the face of a spike. And you're going to take some tape and secure it to the interior of this so it holds together. One little piece of tape, that's enough. Sometimes it's convenient to put some, oh, I need more tape than that. Usually one piece of tape is enough. Sometimes it is convenient to, if in this case, uh, like mine just popped out, put a little bit of tape on the front as well. So I don't trust this now and I'm going to do exactly that. A little bit more tape on the front to hold it in place. All right, that's all taped up. I got a little spike and I can add it to my shield now. All I'm going to do is take these tabs. So we had that little tab that we taped on the interior and these little pieces here are the tabs that are gonna help us secure this to the shield. So I'm just gonna tape them like that. Right there. And I like to press them down and get them as flat to my surface as I can so they blend in a little bit more. And ta-da! I have a spike on my shield. It's gonna stay there. I'll add some more tape. I can paper mache this to complete the look. But for now it's done. And I'm going to move on to the boss. So the boss is what we call this piece here. I've already done the same thing with the spike and marked the lines I'm going to cut. So again, score, half cut. I'm doing these four lines, this interior, on this front. And then on the back, I'm going to be doing point to point along here. So, time to pop it out. All 
All right, next step is to tape it. So taping this one, I'm going to tape each of these sides, bring them down together like that, and tape right there. Ah! But I'm gonna need some more tape too. We're gonna have a taping montage. So my boss is complete, it's all taped, and the next step is to take these tabs down here and tape them to my shield, just like what I did with the spike. And sometimes to help press the cardboard down thin so that's easier to tape to a surface, I'll just go ahead and pinch it like I would with a sword, or if I were building my shield, I'll pinch the sides. This is thick cardboard, ouch. It's requiring some serious finger dexterity. All right. So I just did three pieces of tape to secure it, just for the moment. You get the idea, you can keep taping, you can get this even more secure, and then you can paper mache over this entire thing to have your own beautiful creation. So these, again, are really fun, easy ways to add a little bit more detail, a little bit more excitement to your shields, to your armor. You can do these same spikes on your shoulders, that's an awesome modification. Anything you want. Play around with them. You could do them along a helmet, almost like a mohawk. That'd be cool. That'd be really cool. Again, this is a spike and a boss. PDFs are on our website. And good luck crafting.